to leave. So we're gonna give an apartment tour quickly before we go. This is the entrance to our apartment. So down here, humble beginnings, we have some sort of seat, all of our shit, some mini fridges, some other stuff. This is the washroom that gave us so much grief. Like, look at the shower. What is preventing it from going everywhere? Nothing. Nothing. Up these little steps. Precarious, precarious, precarious. <laughs> and the bed, which we slept in. So nice. Black oak shade for amazing. Amazing. So let's get going, Rock. try to struggle our way to find our apartment. We have to take the water bus there. We made it to Venice in our apartment. It's nicer and bigger than the one in Rome. method in the hopes to find where we're going at all times. Working in it all market places. <laughs> Because Julia says to me, being. it's clearly leading to Rialto Bridge. Nope. I think <laughs> we're headed in the direction <laughs> of <laughs> mainland. <laughs> and let's just give a quick little tour of where we're at. So I don't know where we were. This is an ocean. Oh, I think. You know what we did see? We did see that like thing of St. Peter's. Oh my god. We're on the island of St. Peter. What? <laughs> we're over here. How? Because we're on Fond Dimension. Because remember we saw that St. Peter's thing? There's no way to walk <laughs> this <laughs> way. <laughs> that doesn't Look make at the sense. street name Fond Dimension Olivia. Look at this Fond Dimension Olivia. That's Castel Olivia. <laughs> no, it's Fond Dimension Castel Olivia. Oh my god. <laughs> We did get lost getting home from Peter Island and St. Peter's Island. And we got spectacularly <laughs> lost. Oh my god! For 45 minutes, we walked around the same street. Because A, we didn't write our address down. We didn't know the number. <laughs> So we're sitting there and Julia's asked 6,000 people where we're going. And then I, Julia's like, I think it's this way. Julia finally gets her phone out. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna go find a bathroom. I go and I see this biscotti place. And I'm like, oh, like epiphany. I see the doors that I thought were the Hobbit doors that I used to play in. And then I ran back to Julia. Julia, I found it. No. So 
as we do, I say to Julia, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this. She's like, no, it's definitely this way. Let me go talk to the next person. So I turned to Julia and I said in that moment, I am done with you. You're following me. I know where it is. We walk walk to my spot I see do you see Julia these are the hobbit doors that I was going in and all of a sudden you <gasps> she's found the door the until three in the morning I was crying <laughs> really because lots of people told me that getting lost in Europe is just part of the magic Today, when we're 45 minutes in the circle, it was magical. No. no, that was like frustrating. It's <laughs> like, we're never gonna find this place again. We're gonna be homeless. Cause you know what? We went out without knowing her. <laughs> and it's all our fault. <laughs> Anyways, Venice so far not treated us the best.